All right, guys, I want to do something a little controversial. I want to play with my milk spot coins. I only have a couple of them. I want to see if this is going to work. I want to see if I can remove any of my milk spots on these two coins right here. And I also want to see if I can make this right here really, really shine. Stick around. Some of you poured silver guys, you might like it. This might be an easier way to get a great looking product. So stick around. Let's let's go ahead and do some playing. All right, everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I wanna, like I said, I wanna do some playing around. What I have right here is my Rupes Mini Polisher, and I'm gonna try to use a little bit of compound to get these milk spots off. Now, if this works great on cars, cause I, that's, I kinda do that as a side hustle. If this works great on cars, you know, and not scratching cars up, I'm wondering if it's gonna do the same thing for silver. So, Let's go ahead, let's get into it. I got it on a very low setting. Now this, this tool right here is, is pretty simple to use. You have your speed right here, it goes pretty high, which you never wanna go that high. You wanna go on the lowest settings and it's totally battery powered or you can hook it up to the wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it on the lowest setting and I'm gonna use, I don't normally use this, but it came with it, it's free. So I wanna give it a little bit of, a little bit of a try so I just want to put a little bit on there not too much this might be difficult because I've never done anything like this on camera so let me go ahead and smear it around a little bit that way I don't get a whole bunch of slinging around and I do have a microfiber right here that I'm going to use to remove the excess so And let me show you the milk spot. Right there, right on the queen's noggin. Doesn't look too great. Well, here we go, let's give it a try. And let's move these out the way. And I'm wearing gloves because I just don't want the stuff all over me, so. So here we go. Now normally on your bullion coins, milk spots, they don't matter guys. You know, it's, this is just a, I'm trying a different alternative to using like the erasers and whatnot, or the jeweler's claws, cause those do scratch. And me, milk spots, they don't bother me. I mean, a lot of people, they do bother and they're like, I'm never buying that again. Which if I get a good deal on it, I really don't care. But I'm just doing this just to play around and, and see what happens, you know? See if it actually works without, you know, tearing anything up. And I'm just gonna wipe it off with the microfiber and let's see. What do you think? Bye bye milk spot. Huh? That looks pretty good, guys. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. All right, well, let's try it on the next one. Let's look at the comparison. As you can see, the difference. See how it was there and now it's gone. Well, let's try it on this other one real quick. And I'm not pressing down or hitting it hard, you know, I'm just letting the machine work. 
This is an extremely soft pad. It's designed to remove scratches along with the compound. So it shouldn't harm anything to be honest with you. So let's go ahead and wipe this off and see how it looks. Pretty cool, huh? What you think, guys? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. I don't see any major scratching or marring or anything like that. And like I said, it is bullion. So your milk spots don't really matter. And it doesn't look like it's really affecting the way that the coin looks either. I think this might be a decent alternative. What do you guys think? All right, well, let's try it on a piece of poured silver. Say like this piece right here, it's kind of got it like a dull finish, but it's also shiny. Now this probably is not gonna come out as good simply because of all the scratching that's in there. So let's set this down right here and let's put just a little bit more compound on just to refresh the pad. All right, now let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. Let me turn it back on. As you can see, I'm sitting here hitting it with my fingers. And it's not really hurting me at all, guys. So if you're worried about that, too, it's, it's pretty safe as far as that goes. And I'll hit this just a little bit longer simply because of all the scratching that's in there. Let's see what we got. Take the microfiber, wipe it off again. Now I know most people who do buy port silver, you know, they like the antique finish, you know, but How about that, guys? Pretty cool. And if you're worried about, like, say, the cracks or whatnot of the compound getting in there, you can always use alcohol, and it'll take that stuff right out. And just a comparison, the way that it was, is this is the other side. So you can see how dull that looks, which there's nothing wrong with that. That looks great. You know, that's the reason why I bought it. I'm just doing this just to just to show you guys. That's it. Well, tell me what you guys think, man. I think that's a pretty cool way to remove milk spots. And yeah, this machine that I have, it is pretty expensive. But they have cheaper versions out now that do the same exact thing. So I bought this... Uh, handheld polisher years ago like I said as a side hustle to actually make more money on the side when I'm off time so I think that's pretty cool man let me know what you guys think in the comments down below like I said guys this is just bullion I would never ever do this on anything numismatic or anything of high value you know what I mean this is just bullion I would never get um probably never get spot price back for something with milk spots. So with this right here, I'm not sure that they would tell that it's even polished.
What did you think? Can you spot a difference as far as that goes? And there's some milk on the back too. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what you think down below. It really matters. Like I said, this is just an experiment. This is just a different way of possibly removing milk spots, which it did. And it literally took like, you know, one minute. So if you do have a bunch of bullion that is milk spotted and it gets on your nerves and you can't stand it or you hate it. Well, this is a different alternative. And you can also just take a microfiber towel just like this right here and you can just simply wipe it off. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Don't forget, keep grinding on your stack.